28 degrees right now. We've got a wind chill at 19. Uh, northwest winds at 10 miles per hour, so that's making the feel like temp feel like the upper teens. Sunrise today, 709. Sunset at 504. We are seeing upper and mid 20s across northeast Wisconsin. A little cooler into the north woods in the mid and lower 20s. We've got 25 in Watoma and 28 in Wapaka. The wind chills. Not terrible. Yesterday, right around this time, we were in the single digits in the lower teens. We've added on about 10 degrees or so. But really, the big question is, what's going to be happening today? Today is Groundhog Day. So, Punxsutawney Phil, Jimmy the Groundhog, are we going to be seeing the shadow? Are we going to be seeing no shadow, early spring, longer spring, another six weeks of winter? Well, in terms of accuracy, right now, it shows that Jimmy's a lot better, about 80% accurate. So, my guess, considering that we really haven't had a real Wisconsin winter, I'm guessing probably another six weeks of winter, especially considering the forecast as we head into the weekend. We've got quiet skies and just quiet conditions across our area right now. But zooming out, we do have an area of high pressure that is moving off to the east, and you could see some pretty quiet conditions. But you see this area of low pressure off towards the west. That's going to be providing us with some snowfall as we get towards about Thursday into Friday. But at least for the time being, quiet conditions. But with the latest trends uh, with the snowfall and everything that's been happening, looking a lot better and more like winter with a lot of the snowpack. But here's where the heavier snow is with about 8 to 12 inches in the southern part of the state. We're kind of in between uh, big amounts of snow, where us not a whole lot on the ground. But things will change later on in the next 72 hours. So mostly clear skies overnight. As you get into the day for tomorrow, we'll start off mostly sunny to partly cloudy. Overall, pretty quiet until we get towards Thursday, and that's when we'll start to see a little wintry mix start to build in here ahead of our next weather system. And you'll see a large area of moisture could start off initially as a wintry mix before turning over to snowfall, and this could linger into early Friday morning. Behind it, it's going to be some very cold air. Here's just one computer model showing, I'm thinking at least probably three or four inches of snowfall. That's a good chance of snow. I mean, we'll fine tune the forecast, but yeah, you'll probably have to grab the shovel. Now behind it, we're talking about really cold air moving in here. So for today, enjoy the above average conditions, 32 degrees, turning mostly sunny. Northwest winds at 5 to 10. Tonight will drop down to 13 with variable winds at about 5 miles per hour. 32 degrees on our Wednesday, mostly sunny, turning partly cloudy. And then on Thursday comes in that wintry mix and snowfall. And how about that? Look at those temperatures slowly dropping down to a wonderful high of one, Abby. I know you're talking about, hey, maybe uh, early spring. You never know, but do you have like any whiteout? We can just kind of blank out the rest of those temperatures. I got something down here. <laughs> I'll let you know. Perfect. Thanks. Well, hey, if you do 